Hi, welcome to Linda's Take. Tonight we are going to be looking at Word Module 4, Project 1A, Crown Medical. I have already downloaded the instructions and here is my starter file. I've already saved it and I'm ready to begin working on my document. So the first thing it wants us to do is to expand the character spacing of the paragraph executive summary. We want to call attention to this paragraph. So in order to do that, I'm going to first select the paragraph here, come up here to my font grouping, click on this, select the dialog box launcher, and come over here to advanced. I'm going to choose the spacing. I'm going to change it from normal to expand it. I want to spread my letters apart and I want to expand it by two points. I'm going to change that to a two and then say okay. You can see it's moved it, changed the spacing of my characters here. Now I'm going to come down to this bulleted list underneath objectives and I'm going to clean this up a little bit. So here under sales and marketing I have these two lines and I need to come up here and I'm going to increase my indent by one to move it over under sales and marketing. Do that with the same with this line here. Move that over just to line them all up correctly. And now I want to change the color of my bullets. I don't want them to be black. So I'm going to select, move my mouse right over these bullets and to select those bullets. I'm going to change the color by coming up here to my font grouping and choosing a font color and I want to choose Aqua Accent 5. Select that one to change the color of the bullets. We want to sort the four paragraphs and company background in ascending order. So we want to put these in numerical order here. So to do that going to select those four lines and up here in the paragraph grouping we have this nice little option for sort. All we have to do is select that and it is going to give us the options how we want to sort our text. In this case we want to sort them in ascending order so I'm going to sort my paragraphs by text in ascending order and then say OK. It's all in order for me. On page two, we want to make some changes to this table and the startup cost. So remember, before you can make any changes to a table, you first have to select it. And that's going to bring up your table design and layout options. So if you don't see those up here, make sure you have your table selected. We're going to take the cell with requested funding total amount and we're going to split that into two cells. So we're going to first make sure your insertion point is in this correct cell and up here under the layout tab for our tables we're going to split cells. We want to split it in two columns by one row. Say OK and we have split that one cell into two. We want to insert a formula in cell B9, which is the cell right here to the right of total requested. We want a formula that's going to add or sum the values above our cell. So with our layout tab still selected for our tables, we come over here to the formula option and we want the formula sum above and say OK. And it's going to add all of our requested funding amounts. We want to merge cells B9, C9, and D9, which are these three cells to the right of total requested. We just want to make them into one cell. So we're going to first select those three, three cells and then come up here to merge cells and it's going to merge them all into one cell. Now we want to change the margins of our cells 
And again, before we can do that, we have to select in the cell, the table. I'm going to select the entire table by clicking this little box right up here in the corner. And up here under Table Design, nope, it's under the Layout tab. Yes, cell margins. Sorry about that. Under the Layout tab for our tables, we have our cell mar margins option here. We want the top margin to be 0 0.04, and we want the bottom margin to be 0 0.04. So we're just going to put those values in there, and then say OK. You can see how it spread everything out in our cells. We want to call attention to the header row, so we're going to first select it, and then we want to shade it Aqua Accent 5 Lighter 60%. So now we're going to come to the Table Design tab, and over here we have Shading. Come over here to Aqua 5, and then down to Lighter 60%. Over here we have this cell with the difference provided by owners. We want to change the direction of the text so that it reads from top to bottom in our cell. So first we're going to select that cell, come back up here to the Layout tab for our tables, and right here we have text direction. So we're going to select that uh, until it's reading from top to bottom. So you can see if I, every time I click that cell, it changes the direction of my text. We want it to read from top to bottom. And we want to come over here and we want to resize column A to auto fit the contents. So we can just put our insertion point right in between our column A and column B until you get the horizontal arrows and double click and it's going to auto fit the cells to the fit the largest entry in the column. Down in our roles and shares table we're going to make some changes to this. The first thing that we want to do is sort it by share. So to do that we're going to first select our table and up here under our layout tab we have sort. So I'm going to select that. This is where you tell Word how you want to sort the information. So right here we can either sort by owner or role or share. We need to sort this by share and then right here is by number, and we want it in descending order. So make sure you select descending, and then say OK. Oh, forgot. My list has a header row, so make sure you have the header row selected, and then say OK. We want to change the color of all of our table borders to Aqua Accent 5, so it matches our previous table. So up here under the Table Design tab, come over here to Borders, and then we're going to come down here to the very bottom, Borders and Shading, and then we're going to select Color, and we're going to change that from Automatic, which would be Black, to Aqua Accent 5. And then make sure you just apply it to Table, and then select OK. We want to distribute the rows in our table. In other words, we want to make sure that they're distributed equally. So we're going to come here to the Layout tab. And right here is where we can select the Distribute, distribute Rows option. We want to change the width of column C, which is our Share column. And we want our width to be 1.35. A couple of ways you can do that. You can touch your mouse over here on the edge and then drag. Or up here we have our width, and we can, since we know exactly the size we want, we can enter it right up here, 1.35, and then hit enter. Next thing we want to do is we want to align the share values here so they align to the right. So up here in our alignment, we have all these options. I'm going to come over here to the middle row, third one over, align center right, 
select that one to move our information for our share over to the right hand side. Down here in our shaded paragraph at the very bottom, we're going to select those two lines and we want to change the indentation of the paragraph. So we want to just move the start of the paragraph over by 0.5. So up here under our paragraph options, choose this little dialog box launcher. And down here in the middle is our indentation. How do you want it to uh, indent in our document? The right has already been changed to 0.5, but we want to change the left to match it. We want it also to be 0.5. And you can just hit enter. And you can see how it moved our information over. To call, call attention to for more information, we want to make this appear in small caps. To do that, we're going to select that paragraph come up here to our paragraph grouping, oh, sorry, our font grouping, select our little dialog box launcher here, and then over here under the font tab, we're going to come over here and choose small caps, and then OK. Now right there we, at the bottom we have a line number of words, 413. We want to update this, so to do that, we're just going to select that and right click, and we're going to update the field. This was a field that was added that would count the number of words. So if you have a report and you need to keep it less than a thousand words, you can have number of words and then add a field and it will automatically count all of them for you. We want to update the field to indicate the correct number of words. We want to put a draft watermark on our document to emphasize that this is a document that's still in the works, it's still being developed. So up here under the design tab, clear over here on the right you have watermark. These are the different watermarks we can choose from. We want to choose draft one. Now we want it add a cover page as well to our document. So up here under the insert tab, we have cover page. There are a lot of built-in cover pages. You need to scroll down because we are looking for the slice dark option. So select that. It's going to automatically put that page at the beginning of your document as a cover page. We're going to scroll down to the bottom where it says document title. This is our placeholder. We're going to select that and then we're going to type in the text Crown Auditory Testing. Now we're going to also add a document subtitle so we're going to select that placeholder and we're going to type in Business Proposal. So we have everything finished in our document. Now we are ready to save it and submit it for grading. So we're going to save that document, close the file, come back to Cengage, browse and find your document that you just created, open, and then submit for grading. Check your graded summary report to see how you did, and I got 100 out of 100. Hopefully, you've learned some new things watching me complete Word Module 4 SAM Project 1A Crown Medical. Thank you for joining me on Linda's Tape. Reach out if you have any questions. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And I hope wherever you are, it's been a sunny day.